Welcome to Jasper's Restaurant. I'm Jasper Morabli Jr., executive chef and co-owner of Jasper's Restaurant. And today you're in my Italian coffee shop. It's an Italian bar, an Oteca we like to call it, also a wine bar. And today you're going to enjoy a little bit of espresso and then we'll take a little tour of my kitchen. So I've been making espresso for many, many years. My cousins actually make this in Sicily in a real traditional Italian coffee shop. So let's go ahead and start with a little bit of coffee. We have so much more than this though in our lounge and the restaurant here. We offer over 450 wines by the glass. We have so many different cocktails, special menus. My nephew even makes homemade lemon cello and blood orange cello. So come take a walk with me. We'll go back in the kitchen and we'll make a little pasta for you now. So you're in my kitchen right now, Jasper's Restaurant, and we're going to make pasta carbonara. It's been on the menu for over 55 years. It's one of my absolute favorites. But I'm doing a little something different today. I'm going to make it with gnocchi, which are Italian potato dumplings. So I have a little butter in the saute pan. And let's start off with a little onions. Many people like to call this pasta with the bacon and eggs. We have a little pancetta. We'll just saute that off. And I put a little bit of prosciutto ham in here. And this cooks fairly quickly. We want the onions to kind of cook, kind of translucent. You want some nice pieces of the, uh, of the Italian ham and the bacon. And just watch that saute down and all the flavors start coming together. Pancetta is really Italian bacon. Guanciale is from the cheeks. So we really like to use that a lot. We'll use a regular American bacon, also some smoked local bacon is very nice. The onions, they could be just regular white onions. No red onions. Red onions will kind of give it a different flavor. As these are cooking down, I have some of my other ingredients right here. I have some eggs, some parsley, a little bit of uh, black pepper and a little red pepper, but my secret ingredient is a little sherry wine, and you're going to taste the difference here in just a few minutes. This actually, like I said, takes a few minutes to cook down. You don't want it really crisp, but you want to get all the flavors that come together. At this point, we add a little bit of the sherry wine. A little bit of the black pepper. Now, coal miner's pasta, that's another name for this pasta, carbonara. And it's probably taken after the real bacon and the black pepper in here. It looks like a little piece of coal. There's other thoughts that maybe the pasta came after a quick day at work. And what they made afterwards for dinner was the coal-style pasta. It represented the coal miners, of course. But the trick to making this is the eggs. And that you really have to be careful. And you'll see when I take it off the stove to make it. Only one chef here makes it at Jasper's Restaurant. And it's really a requested item. It's been on the menu for so many years. But it kind of stops everything back in the kitchen when we do get an order for it. Because if you overcook the eggs, you're in a lot of trouble. So you really have to be careful here. All right. We're just about at the point I want to be. Everything's looking very nice here. I have the cooked gnocchi, which is the potato dumplings. We'll add those right to our pan, kind of give it a little toss here, coat everything here. And now I take it off the stove and I have some eggs. I'll put the eggs in and I'll work very, very quickly, crack the eggs. And you notice the eggs are not cooking. They're just warming through. You're not going to see any white in those, in those eggs. And you have to do this off the stove with a lot of heat around you. And right here, there's a lot of heat, believe me. And there you have one of the favorite dishes of Jasper's Restaurant, one of my personal favorites, gnocchi a la carbonara.